My last video is picking up. <laughs> you guys can tell by the thumbnail. Yes, we have a trip to the thrift. It's been like five or six weeks since my last dedicated trip to the thrift. However, in almost every single video, I do incorporate some thrift footage. So for example, in the last video with my Forerunner, it talks about a little trade that I did and I got the piece in and it was a trade that I did for this beautiful Kurt Cobain Memorial tea. Now this gorgeous piece right here will be in the personal collection. However, of course, anything that I find throughout this video and anytime I go to the thrift, the vast majority of those items will be for sale on Thrift Row. That's T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W, a link to the website and the Instagram will be in the description down below. So make sure you go give that a follow, turn on post notifications. I should have a drop live a couple hours after the video goes live. If not today, then definitely tomorrow. And I will be selling a lot of stuff over the next couple months. So make sure you give it a follow. Make sure you turn on post notifications, but let's get to it. I do not want to take too much of your time today. We gotta go hit some thrifts, hopefully find some heat. So let's get to it. Starting the trip to the thrift off late, of course. I'm two minutes late, but I saw people running in. What up? <laughs> hey, uh, Zach just got the fishy floppies donated to him. Looking like Hoover Crip on your feet. Waited for this rotation for like 20 minutes, and sadly, they did not bring it out before break. So uh, it's time for your boy to head out. New day. She forgot her wallet, which means she can't pay for all of my clothes that I find today. Oh, dang it. I wonder who's gonna have to pay. What you get? Lil Haynes Beefy. Ooh, you got some teas. 1994, this one's kinda cool. Promoting planet conservation. And then we got someone's hand holding a heart uh, on the back. I'm setting the pace for Northwest AIDS Walk. Oh, then I found this little Fruit of the Loom crew neck. Was that Roglum? Roglum? Raglan. You see the Raglan cut? Ooh, little early 2000s Nike check crew neck. Little spring break 1998 tee. She found this ever so majestic Big Springs Baptist Church. 1994, the year Supreme was established. In 1869, it was glorious. In 1994, they were victorious. Not a bad pile for, what, like 30 minutes? I wasn't even with the AIDS shirt, but if you zoom in closely, it looks like someone sh themselves. Ren, cards. All right, my boy Ren brought some car hearts for me to look at. Nice little fade on it. All right, 70 bucks for all three of these. I like the wash on that one. All right, pull up to the homie's storage unit. You actually have it set up like a closet. By the way, you guys may have seen him in the videos a couple times. This is the homie Zach. We got some bangers. Got this little Grateful Dead joint, little thrash, but it's got a front and back hit. Got this whole pile right here for $250. I'm gonna show you some of the key pieces later on in the video. There's a couple pieces I kind of want. This one right here is so funny. Here, kitty, kitty. <laughs> you got a big old schlong on them. This cord is pretty sick. This one's dope. This one's cool too. I didn't end up getting this one just because I don't know if you guys will appreciate it, but definitely a banger. I might have to come back and uh, hit it the homie for that one later. But yeah, if you guys don't know, check him out on Instagram. I'm going to leave his page right here. But yeah, man. That's appreciate you. Too, man. Hey, all right, trading folks. That's fire. Yeah, man. Much love. Gotta do my job right time to hit my phone, nigga. Bitch, I'm outside with them thugs, and I'm not alone. Gotta keep it on in the 580 with a blind baby in her hair long. She think I'm crazy, got my shooter slap at his air drums, nigga. I'll be walking this section to fuck up a bag. Let me clear out the rack. All right, so pulled to drip tee, yes, sold them some Harley tees from the personal, this beautiful thermal right here. And then there's an 80s tee that's actually up there at the command center. I also got rid of a Supreme rug. Supreme's never sold these. These are actually uh, for the store specifically. It is what it is. It's going to a good home. You know what I'm saying? The drip tee fam. Also, Yasmin's in the car. She really likes this shirt that I'm wearing today. <laughs> <laughs> stretch out there you go anyways we'll go at 5 a.m. to go down to Portland by the way guys this hat is so fire however it has no structure and this little cardboard bullshit keeps falling out and it's really upsetting so we're gonna wear the sex hat today if you guys don't know that joke it's because Yasmin here thought that this hat said sex and not socks so it is now the Chicago white sex check it out get it check it like Nike check check it out yeah you like that huh pretty fire huh I have to show her every time I find something good because she talks hella. She found a Calvin and Hobbes and a Star Fox and now she's always like, oh, did you find this? Basically just rubbing it in that she finds better stuff than me. But yeah, anyways, a cool little uh, Nike windbreaker. I found another good thing. She hasn't found sh 
This is dope. I want to find a lot of those on t-shirts just reminisce, dude. Like, unreal what's in here. Still regret selling the hoodie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have that on my bike. That's a sick world industry seat. Yeah, this is cool, man. Two more little finds. She found this cool little pit boss pit bull tee. Homie's got some little snaggle teeth. I used to have that, too, but then all you guys made fun of me, and I had to get my teeth fixed. We got the uh, white tag, gray tag, I should say. USA made Nike heavy-duty hoodie. And this tee right here, it's 2010. 69 years plus one. 70th anniversary. You have these two skeletons 69ing. <laughs> And then you have Shorty over here getting ready to join because plus one and there's always room for one more. That's actually a really fire tee for 2010, just saying. I found it. I didn't find anything else. I found everything else. You still have the whole thing. Yeah, I'm still going to win. A few moments later. You did it again. And you don't even know that you did it because I know that you don't know that you did it because you probably don't even know what this is. <laughs> Do you, you don't know what Alice in Chains is? Alice in Chains? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> it's a band. The sleeves are cut, which kind of fucks it up, but it's a good tee. You did it again. You win. I'm winning. I don't know how she does it. And every time she finds something good, she gives it to me and she's like, oh. Oh, okay. Every time she finds, damn, baby keeps interrupting me. Shut up, baby. Why can't you be like Sailor? Every time she finds something good. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try this later. I wasn't recording, but I just showed them this uh, Alice in Chains shirt that she found. I'm kind of sad I didn't get that on camera because Chris was basically like, of course she found it. Everyone just knows that she finds everything now. What do you have in mind for trade? That's crazy. We got my Oregon twin cam debating. Fuck it. Fuck you. We love to see it, boys. Damn, the pressure on camera is real. <laughs> Not even that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no. Shirt again. That's facts. Crazy. Let's go. Worked out a trade for a green day. This is the second time I've done a trade with Cam. Basically, all of my rarities yeah, just go to can him. Never exchange cash now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you gonna put sleeves on it? Yeah, of course. I gotta see no, it. We put sleeves on it. Wear it with my. He's got guns out. While I was here, I also purchased some things. We got two bags. This is my Briss bag. Shout out my boy Briss. And then my boy Alex, Mr. Ash Ketchum himself. My gift is giving. But basically this Green Day tea is from her because she found the tea that I traded for it. So, thank you. at it uh that is me but you can have it since i'm leaving i threw up the peace sign but holding my water bottle let's go like this farewell trading for all my rarities thank you had to make a quick little stop at the goodwill racks sometimes i have people ask why i don't go to the racks that often it's because the racks out here are usually trash but i have hit here before we started the video off late and we're ending the video off on time. Yes, sir. For five minutes, not bad. USA made, Kansas City Chiefs, Russell Athletic. Little Harley Davidson big logo on the back, small logo on the front. Cool little marathon vintage running tee and the hoodie. The Oregonian Hood to Coast Relay. Both are on some gorgeous vintage Hanes tags. Little 1988 Seattle Marathon on the screen stars. Quake and Bake with the Pillsbury Doughboy. Even though this commemorates grandma getting piped out in the Chevron parking lot, probably in grandpa's 19. 50 Chevy. I am gonna actually throw this one back even though I do like these old satin jackets But yeah, we're just gonna keep it simple today because your boys got way too much stuff What was the other tees you got that you checked out with? Oh Sturges. Fade on that one's fire. I think it's 2001 Yeah, it's a clean one. yeah. Great design. This Mazda tees fire the little RX-7 oh, that's hella hard. This Levi's joint. This Levi's. What are you thinking of? You want to do um, just 35 for those two? Yeah, I do that. Okay, cool. Those are all shield Wu-Tang albums. At the homie Rashid's uh, storage. Damn. Ooh, the KRS-One. You know KRS-One is vegan? Akira. Skittles racing jacket. Shout out my boy OG in the Discord. This is kind of cool. There's actually some cool ones. On this rack right here, this is all over print. Cherokee T, Brooks and Dunn, Marilyn Manson. Is the plan essentially to make this like a, yeah, you can just like walk through? Yeah. Every time I go through these racks, I just see the Jimmy Buffett tees like sporadically placed. What'd you want for this one? I want to keep that one. I don't know what it is yet. You don't know what it is yet? No, plus I like the jizz stain on the collar. 
<laughs> Someone just nutted on the previous owner's neckline. The good Tacoma soups. This woven Gildan tag. Gorgeous. Not all Gildans are the same. Look what she's got some bangers. What would be the total with all of them then? Uh, 225. And then I owe you a thousand. So. A thousand seventy five. A thousand seventy five? So then I owe you thirteen hundred. Yes. Okay, that works out perfectly. Then thirteen hundred. Would you wear this? Is this is the current state of the Forerunner. Hey, look at this shit. I bought 3,000 magic cards. Ooh, that's hard. They're all old ones, too. Like, 96, 94. I was telling her that I want to get back into Magic the Gathering. I mean, like, I haven't seen any rares yet, but they're from some good sets. Okay, real quick, before it gets dark, shout my boy Sheed. Go check him out. What's up? Man's got bangers every time. Literally, every time I come through here, he's got some new shit to show me. And it's not just vintage clothes. Literally, everything, like, you guys see. This man does it all. Pulled in the parking lot right on time. I don't think so. Where's that at? Um, like, almost Bonnie Lake. So like, kind of before Bonnie Lake. Oh, uh, maybe. I've been to Bonnie like, Lake. Kind of like above Graham. So like, the right of Graham. Oh, probably. I probably passed there. Yeah, I'm sure you have. You probably went to get to that. Place. Got a little half zip. Carhartt hoodie, vintage crew neck, USA made, little single stitch USA made, ski park, and then a older, little 1970s joint. Join the human race. You want that? You're gonna have it. All right, later guys. All right, so it's been a pretty successful week of thrifting. I'm not gonna go over everything that I got, but I am gonna go over some of the key pieces. The first piece I would like to discuss that I recently picked up was this mid 90s Kurt Cobain Memorial tee. I got this tee for $10, technically. It's on a giant tag, USA made, single stitch. Some tees with this giant tag are single stitch, some are double stitch. It has Kurt Cobain playing on the front, and then you have a little song lyric on the back with the years that he was alive. The reason I was able to basically pick this up for 10 bucks is because I worked out a trade, which you guys may have seen in the last video. The last video was a video of me discussing my new vehicle, the Forerunner that I picked up. But just like basically every video, I'm gonna sprinkle in some vintage content. So even if you are subscribed for the trips to the thrift and you see some other video pop up, click it, check it out, because I'm probably going to incorporate some sort of thrift footage in that video as well. And while I'm talking about that, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, smash the like button down below on this video, show some love in the comments, all that good stuff. But pretty awesome deal for a personal piece that is so valuable and a piece that fits so well. Like it just so happens to fit me perfectly. There's a couple people that I can buy from and know almost every single time that it's going to fit me because they are like myself, somewhat vertically challenged. And this tee was one of them as well. Now this is a 1994 Green Day tee. It's a tour tee. As you can see, it's extremely faded on the front. The back is not nearly as faded. I do not remember the tag that this is on. Single stitch and I got this from the homie Cam. What I traded him was an Alice in Chains parking lot bootleg, I believe. I don't think it's like an official Alice in Chains, but it is a vintage boot and it is a valuable tee because it's rare. If that tee did not have chopped sleeves, I would say it would probably be worth a little bit more. We did work out a straight trade. He's actually going to repair it and put sleeves on it. And he might even chop it if he decides to keep it for his personal collection. But me personally, I actually wanted this tee and it's kind of funny because I was just explaining to Yaz how I used to listen to stuff like Green Day back in the day, but I never really told any of my friends because it wasn't the type of music that my friend group really listened to. And that was probably like an hour before she found that tee and then we ended up trading it for this. So it's just kind of like all fell into place. It was like my destiny to have this t-shirt in my collection and it fits perfectly. I did get some other band tees that are not going to be in the personal collection. We have this Grateful Dead front and back hit. It is a little thrash and honestly, I love the fact that this is thrash. I love the colors. The fit actually looks really freaking good. However, this will not remain in the personal collection because I don't really listen to Grateful Dead. I've tried. Just not my vibe, you know, it's just not for me. I also got this Metallica tee. This I will be selling, although I am somewhat of a fan of Metallica. I got this to sell. I already am keeping this. I cannot convince myself to keep too much valuable shit. I got some cool collegiate stuff, like this beauty right here. I got some sports stuff, a little Apex Cowboys jacket. I'm not gonna go over everything, but I will go over 
some of the key pieces that you guys probably did not see in the video. Gorgeous, like vintage L.L. Bean. I love these type of jackets. This print is super sick. A lot of people don't know, like L.L. Bean, low key kind of fire. Even brands like Supreme have actually referenced some of their old vintage patterns. Uh, you got a little wraparound eagle print. I actually got some of these that will be dropping on the site, Thrift Row, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. This one may be up. In fact, some of this stuff might make it to the next drop. If not, I plan on dropping more. It's been like a month since my last drop, but don't worry. I got some bangers coming. That being said, I'll definitely be dropping a lot over the next couple months for a very particular reason. Eat to ride, ride to eat. I actually probably paid more than I normally would just because it says Tacoma Hog on the back. Some other super cool ones that will probably not be on the site right now. If you, of course, see any of these items and you are interested, hit me up on Instagram. I may or may not get back to you, but I will try. This is Northwest Motorsport. You got a little Beamer right there. It looks like a, maybe a Porsche and I do not know what this is, a Ford GT. I just did a classic car drop. I got a couple more. This is a banger. The colors on this are gorgeous. Got a little vintage racing tee. Seven time Winston Cup champion single stitch. The hot rod crew neck is super hard. This one right here is probably one of the sickest car tees. Even though I prefer classic car tees, I don't see as many of these. This Mazda RX-7, this thing is so sick. And the big print, USA made, single stitch, absolutely insane. I love this tee, super clean. I like the graphic on it. Houston, shout out my bro Paul Cantu. 1985, I'm not quite sure the backstory behind that, but cool tee nonetheless. This AOP all over print NASCAR tee. Like this is a cool graphic and all, but when I see an individual riding a bull, all I can think about is that bull's nuts just being squeezed. Uh, having a pair myself makes it kind of difficult. Single stitch no animal testing tee this is tight the edvard munch on the long sleeve i feel like i got this in the last episode i don't know if i showed this off but this wraparound print is so sick now that we're entering spring i'll probably save that for the winter time we got this sturgis tee if this fits it may or may not get sold honestly the fade on this is gorgeous i love these old faded sturgis tees i actually have a couple in the personal collection i don't even really want to sell this one so it you may end up finding this on Thrift Row, but it may stay over here. You have this vintage guitar tee. Oh man, I forgot that I had this in the pile. The World Industries Flame Boy tee in the creme de la creme colorway. The tag is removed. It's like early 2000s. This was actually found in the Value Village from the homie RJ, and he asked me if I wanted it. He knows I like a lot of this old streetwear. I remember being in home mech with uh, my friend Zach, and me and him would draw like these characters. He was super filthy at drawing. I sucked. <laughs> this tee is fire. It just says religions of the world. It has a bunch of different religions listed and everyone basically has shit happens for Jehovah's Witnesses. It says knock knock shit happens. <laughs> I thought this was funny because my mom's a Jehovah's Witness but anyways. Yeah I got a bunch of other bangers. I don't want to go over everything. Like I said if I go over every single item that I picked up we'd be here for like another 20 or 30 minutes. Of course if you like the content subscribe turn post notifications like the video. If there is anything that you saw in the video whether it be in the thrifts or whether it be in this little recap portion make sure you check out thrift Row, T H R I F T R O W, that will be somewhere on the screen and in the description down no. below. I honestly need to stop buying so much because I do not have space in my storage unit. It's just getting more and more full, but it's like impossible for me to turn down a deal. So <laughs> this weekend, I'm actually going to a little vintage flea market, so that should be up next. Hopefully, you guys like the trip to thrift. I know it's been like five, six weeks since my last one, but like I said, all of the other videos, I should say most of the other videos that I've dropped over the last month has still incorporated some sort of thrift content. I'm still going thrifting. I'm still out in the trenches. I'm still digging and hunting for some vintage. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And as always, keep living the star life. Peace. Star life, Chris say shooting on meds. Got these thoughts been ran through. God damn it. You think I'm a fuck with a bucket that's gonna break down on me? Uh, if you ain't no Honda.